So she's mad at you about something. You don't know what that is yet, but she's usually not gonna come right out and say, I'm mad about this. She's also usually not going to just burst out and yelling and rage and throwing things and hitting you. Usually that's like stage three or four. If it's stage one, you might wanna reconsider being with that particular girlfriend. But most girlfriends are gonna have at least three stages of anger. So there's gonna be one where she makes like an offhanded comment, uh, which, you know, most people just kind of ignore, but she's like, you drive kind of aggressive and that's it. And some people would think like, okay, well, that's just a comment. That's her opinion, whatever. Uh -uh, that's a warning sign. She's angry about something and it's not the driving, it's something else. But that's usually stage one. And that's exactly what the Tesla does when it says, keep your hands on the wheel. It's like this little white sign. Okay, not too, too bad. Stage two, after you've ignored the one about your possibly aggressive driving or about the fact that there's a stain on your shirt, your clothes are wrinkly, whatever she might be kind of criticizing you on that's kind of innocuous but is really a sign of anger, uh, number two is going to be something a little bit more aggressive. Like you might notice, her demeanor changes, she gets just a little bit more, just, I don't know, just doesn't seem herself, doesn't seem really happy about something, but she won't tell you exactly what. It's just like, why are you stone-faced? Oh, you're, you seem to be a little bit madder about the waiter taking a long time than usual. You got a little bit more road rage than you usually do. You know, just like not exactly acting herself and she won't tell you why. And when you ask, she'd be like, oh, it's nothing. Just drivers really suck today. Or I really hate this restaurant taking forever. They screwed up and I'm mad, whatever. Okay, that, that might be true and that's reasonable logically. But again, especially if you've seen that first sign where she's just like criticizing you in a way she usually doesn't when she's not mad about something, something like this, the stage two of anger, you really should be watching out. And it's the same thing with the Tesla. Now it's not a little white sign. Now it's a red sign. Put your hands on the wheel. Give me some feedback. All right. Now it's a little bit more stern. And then finally, stage three for your girlfriend is she finally gets really mad. She might cry. She might yell at you like, oh my God, why were you talking to that girl for so long? Who is she? Like, whoa, okay, now you're really angry. Oh, she's just my cousin. Well, why didn't she tell me? But she's actually mad about that. Or you're sitting there watching TV, it's time to go to bed, or you're thinking about going to bed, it's getting kind of late, and she just gets up and goes to bed without you without saying a word. Oh, that's stage three, if she's a little avoidant. Stage three, if she's more anxious and more maybe like anger prone, is she might actually start crying, might start yelling, might just like not be very happy. That's stage three for your girlfriend's anger. And stage three for the Tesla's anger is it basically boxes up its toys and it goes home for the day. It says, nope, I am not doing autopilot anymore for the rest of this drive. So you, Mr. Tesla owner, get to drive by hand without autopilot like a peasant. You get to think about what you did. And that's the Tesla's third stage of anger.